I just bought some new books and I realized I had nowhere to put them so I thought it would be fun for us to reorganize this bookshelf together and I'll show you kind of how I make it a little bit more stylized. I'm not into like the super white minimalistic bookshelves so yeah. Um, first off, I kind of just been using this bookshelf as a nightstand so I needed to take everything off of it and I just wanted to have a fresh clean start because I'd been shoving like lip balms and incense and any little thing I could hide in there. Um, so I just wanted to take everything off and stack all my books on top of my bed. And like, what are these perfumes doing here? Also by doing this, you're gonna see you have so many more books than you thought you did and so many books that you thought you read but you didn't and they just got tucked away. So I think reorganizing your bookshelf periodically, even if it looks fine, is such a good way to kind of like move the books to the top that need to be read first or just kind of see your little inventory. And when I thought I was done, I realized I still have a bunch that I shove inside this little nightstand, so I took those all out as well. I feel like I definitely need a new bookshelf. That's actually what I wanted to get for this video. I wanted to upcycle like a vintage one, but I couldn't find any that I liked. They were all like very straight, simple, um, yeah. But anyways, I actually wanted to move the shelf to this corner of the room where this nightstand is instead. And I really love reorganizing the whole layout of a room so that when you're in it and wherever you're used to sitting, you're going to see different stuff. I find it just, I don't know, I, I do that every like probably six months. I either change where my bed is sitting or where a shelf is and just kind of make your environment a little bit different. It's like a very good refresher. So I wanted to move this shelf and it's actually quite heavy for such a small shelf. I believe my grandfather built it and that's also a reason I haven't painted it white like the rest of my room. I do always have an issue with painting like good wood furniture but yeah. Also, you're gonna want to dust anything before putting your books back on it because I don't know how it gets so dusty even beneath the books but I use this almond scented cleaner because it smells like sweet almonds and honey and just makes your room smell so good and then I wanted to start organizing my books. I'll either do them by color or by size so I started getting all the blue ones together and all the black ones. I do find I have the most like the majority of black books in my collection. I think that's the ones I like the most. Often if there's like a really bright colored book I'll look for a dark version of it just because I find they're so much more pleasing to my eye. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm too picky but honestly if I see a really brightly colored book I sometimes won't even get it and that's not very good. This is also the stage in me organizing where I get everything out and I'm like hmm I'm not really in the mood for this anymore. Maybe I'll just like eat some chocolate and have some tea and think about finishing this later. But you don't want to do that for too long or else you're going to end up having no bed to sleep on at night. So I was just thinking of which books I actually wanted to have on the shelf because a lot of books, if I've already read them, I would say don't put them on the shelf if you don't have the space for it. Those are the ones you can tuck away somewhere or you could even donate them. Or if they're books that I read and didn't like, I especially don't want them on the bookshelf. Um, but I'm mostly wanting stuff that I haven't read and want to be like right in the forefront of my mind. Also, this is a good time to take off any price tags or stickers off your books that you've missed before just so everything can be looking a little bit more clean. And when I start organizing, I really like to start with the top shelf because that's what I'm going to see the most. And I love the look of these beautiful, like, classic covers. They're kind of, they're bound in fabric. I oddly find them at, like, Marshalls sometimes. Um, but I believe you can also get them at places like Chapters or just online. I don't really know who makes those ones, but they're so pretty. And they were looking really pretty on the top shelf but it was looking too heavy so if the top shelf is looking really really weighted I'll kind of take the bigger books move them to the second shelf and I like to do something a little bit more unique on the top shelf you can either take a book that you really like and face it forward like Coraline is one of my favorite stories of all time so sometimes I'm like oh I really want to see what that looks like um and just like have it as decor because I love the movie so much but I forgot I actually have these really beautiful little leather books so I wanted to put Jane Eyre 
right there and i haven't read this yet but i need to i bought it at the paper hound in vancouver years ago and i've just been saving it and then i have my little paper blank journal that i'm putting right beside it and also these little Italian Leon pastilles, I think they're called. I believe they're like a digestive candy, but they look so cute in their little box. It looks so retro and vintage to me. And now a good way is to put your books like laying down, but with all their spines facing up. So you can kind of see exactly all the colors and how you want to organize them. And I really like the method of putting books laying flat with the ones laying vertical, if that makes sense. Um, so I just stack those all there. And since we had started with green on that shelf, then it's time to go into your green books on the next shelf. Um, I have just some little ones called like the feminine and fairy tales. I'm really excited to read that. A Thousand Splendid Suns. I'm so excited to read that as well. So I do like green to gold to yellow to orange books and then to blue. I think blue books are so beautiful too. And then now I was getting into just like books that I need to get on this shelf. So I put on my Ayurveda books and ones on health and then on the very bottom shelf I started off with my books on art and acting and kind of just the spiritual process of both of those and then just any other books that I either need to read. The Bell Jar I've actually already read but I just it was so depressing I couldn't finish it and then I always keep this book out because it has a little sticker of the scholarship and they gave it to me when I got a writing scholarship at the end of school. And it always makes me so happy whenever I open it up. So I always make sure that is on my bookshelf and not tucked away somewhere. And we still had a lot of books out, but these ones I ended up either putting in my nightstand or putting in a stack because I was like, what can I do? I don't have the space. Um, but I wanted to decorate the top and I really like to get some height on the top of a shelf. So I do a vase and then I put this little owl feather that I got in the forest because it's sentimental. And I love these beeswax candles because they smell so good. And it ended up so, so cute. I'm going to show you it up close of the shelves. I think it is so my style. And also, I just want to stare at it every single time I'm getting ready because it's right beside my vanity. And then automatically, you end up just appreciating and reading your books more. And I'll also show you the very top of the shelf. It's so cute. I have my little fairy rock that I painted with a mushroom on it. And although I really would like to have a bigger bookshelf, I hope this kind of gives you some inspo to work with what you've got and you can still make something small, very curated and cozy. And yeah, I hope you have fun.